Hi everyone, I am Tanu Sharma, Director Large Corporate Ratings at Brickwork Ratings. Today, through this podcast, I will be sharing Brickwork Ratings' views on the Indian automobile sector. Barring FI20 and FI21, the Indian automobile sector has a track record of secular growth due to lower penetration historically and increased disposable income among the masses. The automobile sector was already facing a slowdown in growth during FI20, led by macroeconomic headwinds, limited credit availability, increased cost of ownership after BS6 implementation, and revised axle norms impacting the commercial vehicle sales. The pandemic further had its ripple effect on the sector, with consequent lockdowns, shutting down of dealerships, and reduced mobility and economic activity, leading to a decline in revenue growth by 14% uh, in FI21. Green shoots were visible in the later part of FI21, but yet again the recovery momentum was disrupted by the second wave of COVID, which appeared more like a replay of FI20 in terms of revenue decline. Due to localized restrictions during the second wave of COVID, many OEMs went for production cuts and automobile dealerships were temporarily closed. While the situation was not as bad as the previous year, sales were muted. As a fallout of COVID, preference for personal mobility has emerged as a key trend. Additionally, online platforms could play a major role in the revival of automobile sales as people are accustomed to online shopping under the present circumstances. Thanks to the swift pickup in the economic activity and accelerated vaccination drive, further aided by pent-up demand on a low base, Brickwork expects base case revenue growth of 20-25% to in the passenger vehicle segment in FI22. Lower affordability due to job losses and reduced household incomes would shift customer preferences towards lower-end vehicles, though. Factors that would positively influence the two-wheeler sales include healthy rural demand on account of normal monsoons. Coming to the commercial vehicle segment, while the first half of FI21 was a near washout due to the pandemic, the second half with a reduced number of cases provided some hope of an improvement in sales, while still remaining in the negative territory for the second consecutive year as EVs majorly consist of buses, trucks and three-wheelers, with restrictions on public transportation, demand for these vehicles lowered. In the second half of FI22, there could be a turnaround in the commercial vehicle sales as well, backed by pickup in the economic activity, uh, revival of infrastructure sector, and growth in underlying other sectors such as uh, agriculture, e-commerce, consumer durables, construction and manufacturing. On the other hand, auto exports are expected to gain momentum on account of subsi- subsiding a pandemic effect and improved economic prospects in major export markets such as US and Europe. In the medium term, the scrappage policy could also be an influencing factor for increasing sales and reducing input costs. However, a downside risk to these expectations could be a third wave of COVID and a prolonged weak consumer sentiment. Meanwhile, the supply-side issues have persisted in terms of the ongoing semiconductor shortage that continues to impact automotive production schedules. While sales are expected to recover, the profitability of players, which took a hit during FI21 due to high input costs, will continue to be under pressure, with steel, copper and aluminum prices witnessing an increasing trend. Players' input costs will be on the higher side, and with a not-so-robust recovery in sales, players may not be able to increase their realizations. Hence, rising input costs and limited price hikes would be the key monitorables in the near term, since these will impact the profitability of automotive companies. Hence, the looming threat of a third wave may easily outweigh the underlying structural positive drivers, yet the sector has the capability to rebound again in line with the macroeconomic recovery. Thank you for your attention. Stay safe, stay healthy.